Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Nicole. And I'm Sarah with your morning announcements for this last day of classes, Wednesday, June 18th. Let's start off today's show with a message from Mrs. Cannon. Good morning, Cathedral. Well, here we are, the final day of classes for semester two. We are in a special bell schedule today, and all students are to remain in their classes until the teacher dismisses you at the bell. That marks the the end of that period. We will have five days of exams and Friday, June 27th is the day in which you can come in and view your final exams and pick up any assignments, culminating activities that you would have submitted that the teachers will have for you. At this time, I'd also like to extend on behalf of our vice principals, Mr. Pustai, Mr. Daly, Mr. Lawler, a big thank you to our news crew. News crew here led by Mr. Trabuco starts right from the very first day of classes in September and continues on right until today, the last day of classes. An awesome crew, um, always here, always ready. Uh, if you're down here, you see the energy that is used just sometimes to uh, quickly uh, come and, and do something that changes at the last minute. So their flexibility and their uh, ability to carry on in the uh, face of getting some last minute changes is just phenomenal. And I want to extend a big thank you and a fond farewell and all the very best of luck and God's uh, continued blessings to the students who will not be coming back in September. They're going elsewhere and following a, a different path after they leave cathedral and graduation. And to those students, thank you so very, very much for all your service, for all your dedication and commitment. So thank you to Winter, Sheridan, Dakota, Ben, and Camilla. We will miss you terribly, and we really do appreciate all that you've done to bring the best of the news to Cathedral. We will be having our assembly this afternoon. Um, and I also want to extend a big thank you and not really a farewell because he will still be with us but in a different capacity and that's to Mr. McNorgan, our chaplaincy leader. Mr. McNorgan will be moving on to be chaplaincy leader at Wilma's Place, so still part of Cathedral, and he'll also be sharing some of his uh, special gifts and talents with the uh, student and school community at St. Thomas More. So thank you so very, very much to Mr. McNorgan. I know all week it's been a um, constant parade of, of kids uh, going up to Mr. McNorgan and letting them know how much he is appreciated and how much we will miss him on this site. But we have been assured he'll come back and visit us as well. So you're going to get a message also from Mr. Pustai. Um, today is a very important day, even though they're shortened periods and even though we have an assembly, very, very important day and very important that everyone is ready and fully prepared for final exams. Okay, so have a great day. Uh, do your very best in all your classes and see you at the assembly. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Miss. Well, they have finally fixed it. You can now access your timetable for September online. You can do so two different ways. Using an Apple device, you can download the HWCDSB MyPath apps app from the App Store. Once, once you have downloaded the app, select the register button, use your email address, use your student ID, which is your student number, and then create an eight character password. You can find your timetable on the dashboard. You can also access your September timetable via the Path to Success website. Go to mypath.pathtosuccess.ca. Select the register button, use your email address and your student ID, which is your student number, and then create an eight character password. You can find your timetable on the dashboard. If you have any questions, please see your guidance counselor during your lunch. This is a reminder to the yearbook committee of your group photo right after period one in room 313. And with summer being just nine days away, for some students, it's time to think about summer school. Summer school registration is now available online at stcharles.ca. Your online registration form needs to be signed by a guidance counselor. Please visit the website for more information, and if you have any questions, please see your guidance counselor. Tomorrow is the first day of exams with period one exams being written at 9 a.m. 
Next Wednesday is the day where all lockers need to be emptied. Please discard of your locker contents in the appropriate recycling or garbage bins. Today we celebrate the end of the year with our year-end assembly. We are on a special timetable with period 5 classes being called down to the forum for the assembly to begin at 1 p.m. A happy early birthday goes out to Monica Sargios from myself and all of your friends, and a happy birthday out to Gabby Romo from all of your friends. A special happy birthday goes out to Emma and Megan McMahon, who are both celebrating their birthdays today. And now I'll pass it over to Mr. Pustai. Good morning, Cathedral. And this is the last morning I get to say good morning for at least two months. Today is an exciting day. It's a day where we celebrate all the wonderful things that have happened here at Cathedral over the past school year. It's a day when we say goodbye to those students who will not be returning in the fall and to some teachers who will not be returning in the fall. It's a day of celebration and it's a day when we don't quit. It's a day when we go to all our classes and we get all the important information that we need to know for our final exams. You've heard a lot of information about when final exams are going to take place and you could find a lot of that information on the website as well. If you have any questions throughout the day, please don't hesitate to ask your teachers, your guidance counselors, and also our vice principals. We're there to help you um, answer any questions that you may have before going into the exams. It's important that you arrive at your examination on time and in school uniform. You will not be able to write in your classroom if you're not in school uniform. So please make sure that if you have any uniform issues today, that you get them rectified for your first and all your final exams. Also, we'd like to remind students that at today's assembly, we'll be calling you in and around 1 o'clock. It's important that everyone be seated together and that we act appropriately and support the people on stage. They are there to perform. They are there to celebrate a good thing, and that is the whole school year. So please give them your attention and your respect, and also your applause as badly needed. I'd like to wish everyone all the best during exam week, both staff and students. It's a very stressful time, and we'd like to wish everyone a very successful exam week, one with good health and happiness, and we look forward to seeing everyone back on exam viewing day where you'll have an opportunity to review your exams, ask questions, and then if you need, need be, sign up for summer school. And summer school is being offered once again at Cathedral. Take advantage of those opportunities that are given to you. Also, I'd like to wish everyone on behalf of all Cathedral staff and students all the best to Wilma's Place graduates. Today is their graduation. They will be graduating at 11 a.m. this morning, and we look forward to a beautiful ceremony at the new Wilma's Place. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And now I'm going to sign off for the last time, thanking everyone for all your support in our first year, and I'm speaking on behalf of Mr. Lawler, in our first year here at Cathedral. It's been a tremendous experience, and it's been an honor and pleasure to serve you this year. Looking forward to many more years to come. And now back to the desk. Thanks, sir. And now I'll pass it over to Mr. Chibuko. Wrong camera. Hey. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to take a minute. We've heard a lot of thank yous today, so I'll keep it short. But I wanted to thank all the students that work here at CHS TV News every morning. And unfortunately, I'm also here to say goodbye to some of the news crew members. Mrs. Cannon mentioned them earlier. But today is our last um, show for the school year, but it's also the last show. Uh, forever <laughs> for Winter, Sheridan, Camilla, Ben, and Dakota. Sheridan, who can be here this morning, is going to Queen's University for biochemistry. In the fall, Camilla, who also couldn't be here this morning, um, will be attending Humber College for acting in film for television. And Winter, we'll come back here, uh, she's been with the news crew for three years, and she is off to the University of Windsor for criminology. Ben, there's Ben is um, off to the University of Waterloo for computer science. And we're not going to hold it against him, but Dakota is transferring to STM in September. 
So we hope he's not going to give any away any of our uh, news crew secrets because we are number one. Anyways, um, I just want to thank all of them and everybody here, but especially the ones who are leaving, for um, volunteering their time every morning. Um, sometimes winter here is usually first right after me. Um, sometimes starting 7.45 in the morning to get ready for the show. So it's, uh, it's great. I, lo I have a lot of fun doing this every morning. Uh, did you guys want to say anything? It's your last chance. <laughs> okay, so a couple shout outs. I was hoping for something sentimental, but that's fine. Um, anyways, um, I'm going to leave it up to these guys to end off our show for the year. Ready? Together now. For the last time this school year, those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.